today's video, I'm going to go over webcam putting for GS Pro, and I'm going to talk about hue, saturation, and value. You got to hit the D key when you open up your putting app, and that's going to give you your sliders. What I've got here on the bottom left is a window showing you what hue, saturation, and value look like visually. Um, I have the hue at zero right now, and as I drag it up, you're going to see the value increasing. When you get to 90, it's blue, and 180, it's red. At the top, we've got the red pinks and at the bottom you have the red oranges i'm gonna slide saturation and value up and you'll see as you slide value down to zero you get black and as you slide saturation down to zero you get white and as we play with these here you, the hue obviously changes the color on the spectrum we're going to pick a minimum and maximum for the ball to track value and it changes the amount of black in the pigment and saturation brings the color in so let's use this example to Maybe find the purple balls in, in the thing. So we'll drag this slider down to uh, where the purple and blue start, about 135-ish. And we'll stop that there. And then if I drag my cursor around here, you can kind of see the dark purples go here. We get into some grays. But if you look at the saturation and value sliders above me, I would say we're looking at everything kind of in this semicircle above, I don't know, let's call it 120. And I've got those sliders about there. So if you look in the mask, I've got both those purple balls and that white one there. The pink one doesn't really show up for me. I need the ball to show up in both the light area and the dark area along that whole mask. So let's take a look. What I really want is yellows and oranges. I'm going to shoot for an orange ball because it contrasts with my green the best. Um, we're going to drag this hue minimum down to zero because we need the reds. And then we'll drag the hue max and start squeezing out these purples and blues. I'll stop here at 90. You can start to see I've already got mostly yellow and orange balls showing on the mask. Uh, the purple ones are not showing at all right now. A little bit of pink. And as we move the saturation slider, we start to see the ball disappear and reappear. Um, as I move saturation to the right, I get full color. And as I move value up, I get brighter. So what we want to do is get more into the yellow red and get less green and blue. So we'll move the hue slider down. It looks like about 35 is where the green stops and we'll change our hue max. Let's start sliding it down. But as I go there, I start to lose the mask in the darker area of my putting. So let's expand it a little bit. Looks like we need to include some of those hues in their darker value and saturations. Now we can move the saturation slider. Let's just get a feel for what it does. It's really eliminated all masks at this point. And as I slide it down, we're starting to see more. Well, let's go down here to the color picker and get our orange color as I drag the value down honestly value much below 90 gives me blacks and saturation you really start to gray out it looks as I go 120 130 so let's make a, an adjustment up top here and try our saturation maybe around that 130 that's good and then value around 90 I like the way the mask is showing currently um, I can see a pink ball, but the oranges are standing out great. And I've even got the orange in the darker part, which is the end of my putting area, showing up well as well. The goal here is really to get the mask to look good in both the dark and in the light area. Because I have a spotlight, I've got two different areas. And I know people have issues with getting their ball identified in one area, and then it doesn't read it when you putt. And for me, it was the color was not the same as the ball traveled down my putting area even simple things like dimming the lighting in the room will change the color changing your white balance on your camera they can affect the way that these colors are red so let's take all four orange balls put them down in the darkest area here and we'll see if by moving the sliders we get our masks to improve on the ball the hue doesn't really change anything for me down there as i widen it it starts to show some of the white but saturation not really doing a whole lot for me um, as far as improving the mask on the ball. The value setting, as I bring that down, the ball does get a bigger mask, but it's bringing in darker colors, and I'm getting tons of little errors. You can see that flickering up there on the screen here. Um, if I go and look at the color wheel, as I lower value, I get these darker blacks and, and gray colors. Um, and if I go over to the green, what you're seeing the flickering is that dark green from having a hue that includes some greens, but when I've got the value high enough, they show up as yellows. So I need to get that value back up and stop all that flickering that you're seeing. Um, it's okay that it's flickering on like the pink ball, but I don't want any flickering on the green background. 
this looks pretty good where we've got it. So let's take those four golf balls and move them to the front, clear out all these other ones, and put them in the spotlight where we've got the starting area for our putts. I'm going to do the same thing I did in the dark area. We are going to play with the sliders, keeping in mind where we started with them. I'll start with the value slider. Um, I'm really liking 90, but let's go up and down, see if the mask for the ball imp improves at all without causing errors. It's actually really good. Um, and again, as I lower it, I get the errors for that green too dark. I need to get that value back up a little bit here. 90 was a pretty good spot, I felt. As we go up, we start to see those green flickers go away. So let's check saturation. As I go down with saturation, you're seeing some errors in the spotlight area, but we want to sort of bring that up where we get rid of some of those grays. And I think this is a good spot. So let's just set our sliders down here and show you the range of colors. Our minimum saturation, 135, our, our uh, value at 90. And let's just show you. So these are the colors on the low end that it reads from red to green. These are the low end colors that's reading in our setup. Now the maximum, we've got saturation all the way up and value all the way up. These are the brights that it reads. So we're from, you know, those dark ends of the lower side of this to the bright ends of the lower side of this. And it seems like it's working out pretty good for us. Now I'm going to go up and let's put the mask, you know, over on the screen in front of me because I want to hit some putts and just watch the balls track. I got four orange balls here now. I have a favorite, which is that top left, kind of Volvic bright yellow one or bright orange one, sorry. Um, it's, it's top right on the floor. My camera is mirrored. But I'm going to put them down the way here and just watch the mask and see which ones are sort of the most solid or flicker the least. That one was pretty solid. That one flickered a lot. And that was kind of flickered as you saw it travel down. We really want the most consistent, solid looking ball as it travels. That one's really good. Flickers a lot and got small. Flickered. Very solid there. So as I set those four out, you can kind of see in the mask, one of the four is a very solid color. It's bottom left in that mask, which is opposite for us. It's this ball here. And this ball is perfect as I put it. I can put it with speed. It's got a solid mask on it the entire way. It doesn't really flicker. And it just gets picked up by the system very, very well. So that's it. We've kind of got our mask all dialed in there. I'm going to go and hit the A key. And this is going to give us our settings, our advanced settings for the sliders. And we'll set up the hitting box. The yellow box is where your ball will start. It's where the, system, the computer program will identify your starting point. And the red line is where it will recognize that it has broken sort of the plane and begin to read a putt. So let's put it up on the screen here, and I'm going to put the mask right below it. This will allow us to see the mask we've created and if there's any errors or flickers while we see it read the putt in real time. And if we've made any errors, this is our chance to correct them. When you're done with this, make sure you hit the Q button to quit out. The config.ini file will save your settings, and you won't have to do this again. I hope this video was helpful for you. The hue, saturation, and value settings were very confusing for me when I first set up the putting with the webcam. And when you get them dialed in just right, it truly feels realistic. If you have questions or comments on something in today's video, or I went too quickly and you want some more detail, please send me a message or comment below. Thanks.